Okay, so we're ready for the first varnish coat. Um, it's the following day after staining and uh, just hoovered all the boat off so it's nice and clean, free from any bits from the cloth. I'm using uh, Epiphanes varnish, just the standard single part varnish and the Epiphanes brush thinner. The first coat will be mixed 50-50. Okay, so that's the first coat of varnish done. I had a slight uh, change of plan midway through. What I actually noticed was that the uh, thinners in the varnish were starting to lift some of the colour out of the wood. So what I decided to do was just go over it with a cloth afterwards, similar to the way I put the first stain coat on and just um, sort of buff the varnish in basically. So basically this is just a really thin coat of varnish now which will hopefully um, seal in that colour a little bit and then I shouldn't get that problem going forward. Okay so this is coat number two and it's going to be thinned 25% and I'm just going to apply it with a foam roller this time. Okay, so here's the next day after the second coat. The varnish is still a little bit tacky just a touch, which is ideal really because it means I can just get another coat straight on top of that and build a bit of volume there. Um, and then I'll leave that to harden off and then we'll flat off the boat and then start building again on top of that. So I'm gonna go ahead with a, another coat with no thinners, just pure varnish straight on top. Okay, so there's coat number three. Okay, so we're about five days on now from that last coat and uh, the varnish has gone off quite nicely. It doesn't really take a thumbprint anymore, so that's hard enough to work on. I'm just going to go over this with a Merca Merlon pad. Uh, it's basically like a Scotch Bright or something. Um, I'm using the very fine grit, which is about 360. Uh, and I'm just going to give it a light key with this, basically, because I don't want to sand at this stage in case I go through the varnish anywhere and end up uh, taking some of the colour away it's going to be a bit of a problem then trying to get that back so I'm just going to really lightly key up the varnish with this then we'll build another three coats straight on top and we should be able to start flatting back then with a sanding disc Okay, so that's the prep done for that. Uh, so just to recap, I've gone over that with a Merlon disc. Uh, then after that, I've just hoovered the boat off to get rid of any dust. Um, gone over the whole thing with a tack cloth. And then um, a paper towel just with some of the brush thinners on, just to take the greasiness from the tack cloth away. So as soon as that thinners has finished flashing off, um, we'll get rolling another coat on there. All the coats from now on will be just varnished with no thinners. So the plan is to do three coats now on consecutive days with no rubbing down in between. So we'll just try and build a bit of volume on the varnish now. And then once they've hardened, we should be able to flat back then. So same process as before, just varnish with no thinners uh, applied with a roller.
Okay, so that's coat number four done. Uh, it's still flowing out a bit at the moment, but uh, looking nice. So the next stage in the process is just going to be to build another two coats on top of that. So I'll come back tomorrow and just roll another one straight on. And then the day after that, roll another one straight on that. Um, and once they've hardened, um, I'll then flat back again. So I won't video those two and I'll come back after we're ready for the next stage. Okay, so we're about a week on. Um, the varnish is starting to harden nicely now. So I'm just going to start to flat that back. I'm going to go over this with a 320 grit disc on the DA sander. Um, try and flatten out a lot of this texture that you can currently see in the varnish. And get a bit of a flatter base and then I'll build another three on top of that. So same process again, it'll be three coats on consecutive days. Okay, so that's what we look like after that flatting off. The little uh, shiny areas are just the low spots that the sander hasn't hit yet. I've tried not to go too hard on it because there's a bit of a risk of going through to the wood in places. So what I'm going to do now is just go over that with the Merlon pad again, just so that these low areas are keyed up a little bit. Um, and then we'll be ready to tack cloth and clean up for varnish. Trying out a new roller with this one, super fine gloss roller, so we'll see how we get on with that. Okay, so there's coat number seven just starting to flow out now. So what I'll do is tomorrow I'll roll another coat straight on top of that and the day after that I'll roll another coat straight on top of that and then I'll leave those to harden before repeating the same process again. So I won't film the next two coats, they'll just be straight on top and I'll pick up after that. Uh, just to give you a bit of an idea, I've just started the second 5 litre tin of varnish, so we're just over 5 litres on that at the moment, just to give a bit of a gauge for how much I'm actually using. So uh, it'll be quite a lot of varnish in the end, probably sort of 12 or 15 litres I expect we'll use on the whole thing. Okay, so the varnish has been sat for about a month now, probably a little over actually. Uh, you can see I've done the caulking as well. I've covered that in a separate video, so um, you can head over and see that if you like. Um, so it's it's nice and hard now. It's ready for a good flatting off. As you can see, there's quite a bit of texture to it. But we've got a good volume of varnish on there, so we should be able to get this nice and flat now. Um, and then start building the final few coats. Okay, so first up is a 180 grit Abernet disc and it's just straight onto the backing pad of the sander. No interface or anything, so that'll give us quite a hard edge uh, just so I can take those caulking lines down. So that's the caulking lines just flatted back. You can see I've just concentrated on those areas just to take the hog spots out of them um, and now I'll go over and flat the whole thing off. So now I'm onto a 320 grit disc and I've got a 5mm interface pad on there as well which will just help to follow the contour of the deck a little bit.
Okay, so that's all flattered off up to 320 grit. Uh, as you can see, I've not completely flattered back the varnish. Um, there's a few little small pinhole areas that I've left. I didn't want to go back too far and risk sort of taking too much varnish off. So should hopefully fill all those little spots within the next three coats. But just thought I'd show you that before I uh, clean everything up because you might not be able to see them quite as well then. Okay, so there's number 10 just flowing out at the moment. It's definitely benefited from having a flat off. You can just see a few of those little pinhole marks still coming through in the varnish. But uh, after the next flat off, we should lose them altogether. So I'll do another two coats straight on top of this without flatting down in between and then we'll be on to the final three then. Okay so there's coat number 12. I'm actually going to change the plan a little bit, I'm just going to go up to 13 coats now. So I'm going to flat this back and just do a finishing coat and um, then I'll leave it for about six months just for all the varnish to harden and settle properly and then we'll build the final seven coats after that. Okay so I'm just going to flat this off with a 500 grit Abronet disc and I've got a 5mm interface pad on there. Okay so that's all flatted off and cleaned up now. Uh, I've gone over the tack cloth and then thinners, same process as before. As you can see there's a few little um, low spots still that I haven't quite got out yet um, but I'm just going to leave them as is because the varnish is going to settle and um, move around a little bit over the next few months anyway so there's really no point chasing out little marks like that. Um, I'll save that for the next stage when um, when it's you know hardened and then flat it back off again um, and build a bit more so uh, we'll get on with the varnishing. So I'm just going to cover a little bit of the process that I use for rollering. Um, basically I try and pick an area that's quite small and, and manageable, so about sort of two to three foot band of the boat. Something that I can work in without having to move around too much um, and so that the varnish doesn't tack up too quickly. So you'll see here that I'm just doing the deck now instead of the sides so I can keep that a bit more manageable. Um, picking about a three foot span um, and working initially across the boat with the varnish and then starting to go lengthways. So you just get a really even spread of the varnish and try and work it all out across that area as best as I can. Uh, leaving the edge of course so that my shirt doesn't catch in it. Um, and then I'm just sort of tipping the varnish out, um, which you can see I'm starting now. And that's just without applying any more varnish to the roller, I'm just rolling it lengthways down the boat, starting on the dry side of the boat a little bit before the varnish and going into the existing wet varnish with a bit of an overlap at each side. So that just sort of feathers out each side of the section that I'm working on so that you don't get any hard lines in the varnish as it dries um, and it sort of feathers out the sections between where you're working um, and the, the main goal really is to just try and keep a wet edge on the varnish all the time so you don't have any dry spots so if you do have to finish up to a line finish on a sharp line that's going to be hidden which is under a piece of trim or on a corner or something so that's the reason for doing it like this. 
and then just leave it to flow out basically. I definitely recommend the uh, super fine rollers that I'm using because they've got a feathered edge to them they um, make it much easier to not leave lines in the varnish so um, I definitely prefer using those to a standard gloss roller. Okay, so there we are for coat number 13. It's uh, looking very shiny. Um, so that'll do us for now. Um, what I'm gonna do is just put all the fittings on the boat and finish the boat off and actually use it for a few months. And um, I'll make another video that shows the second stage in six months time when things have kind of settled down a bit and we'll flat it off and just build a bit more.